In this video, we'll continue working with the same app we worked on in part 1 of the Acuro user service videos. If you haven't watched part 1, I recommend you go and do so now. In this particular video, we'll use user profile properties to expand the set of data stored with the user in the user database. This can be useful for storing user related information that can both be used throughout your app, for sending push notifications, and other uses as well. First, let's head over to the user service settings section found under backend services. In this section, we can configure how the user service will work, and in this case, we'll simply go to the profile properties tab and add a new property. Profile properties are items of data we might store about a user in our app. Profile properties can be set when signing up or at any time while the user is signed in. I'll add a property by clicking on the Add button, and I'll type in Country as the property name. Then, I'll click on Save to apply the changes to the user service. To store this data to the user's profile when signing up, let's open up the Sign Up page and edit the form. First, we'll add a new field for the country. I'll configure the field to be a select box, and then add a few items as options to the list. When done, I'll go and edit the visual coding script for the actual form action. In this case, I'll modify the configuration for the cloud auth create block and map the value from the select box to the country profile property. When I'm done, I can close the windows and save the page. Now, I'll sign out of the account in our app and create a new account. As you can see now, we have our new field in the form asking for the country. I'll choose Sweden, because that's where we're at right now, and create my account. If I once again switch over to the App Manager and open up the app's users list for my app, I can now see that the new user has this country property attached to it and saved in the database. It's also possible to change profile properties of the current signed-in user with a simple visual coding script. To do this, let's head back over to the App Studio Open up the home page and add a new button to the page. I'll call it Update Profile. In the visual coding window, I'll use the Cloud Auth Update Profile block to update the profile properties on the current signed in user. By using profile properties, you can expand the functionality of the built-in user service to store all the information you need about your users at any given time. In the next video regarding Akuro's user management service, we'll implement a password reset feature that makes it possible for your user to reset their own password if they've lost their credentials.